Hello there everybody, it's Patty Gertie. Today I'm coming at you with a troll video. Now you might ask yourself, Patty, you're usually doing fairy content and dressing up like a fairy and singing like a fairy. Why would you do troll content all of a sudden? And that actually has a reason. I once wrote a nice chorus to a song about trolls without having the intention to do so. The story about that I will tell you in a second. But now I find myself having this nice chorus about trolls and basically knowing nothing about trolls. That means I can't write any verses. So I had to do a bit of research. And this video is about a bit of my research about trolls to keep you entertained and to show you my latest audio recordings of the volcano eruption in Iceland that I visited a few weeks ago. It's amazing and it fits perfectly to this topic. Troll video starting now! Sometimes I take evening walks and for me being inspired by something sometimes feels a bit like stepping through invisible bubbles. So you're on your path walking through, I don't know, the city or a forest or anything and it feels like you're entering a bubble. And within that bubble it's almost as if you'd get a download of a song. So suddenly there's a song playing in your head and you've never heard it before. <laughs> and this is exactly how I wrote the troll song chorus. So technically I didn't even really write it, I just had it in my head and sang it into my phone and then made a demo. Yeah, weird artist talk, sorry. All right, so now I find myself with a troll song chorus without knowing anything about trolls and not being able to write a nice verse for the song to finally finish it, because it's actually been five years already. Yeah, I got that download five years ago in Scotland, actually. So when I visited Iceland a few weeks ago, I thought this might be a good place to learn about trolls, right? And especially with the current eruption in Iceland, it's kind of magical. Every Nordic country seems to have their own version of troll stories. They're part of a tradition, basically. And the one I've heard in Iceland was about very big and ugly trolls, very tall ones, that mostly live at night, because when they come and see the daylight, they basically turn into stone. I was told that a volcano eruption means that the trolls are cooking. Now, a volcano eruption can take basically up to years until it stops, so they seem to be very hungry. At least they've been cooking for a couple of weeks or months at this point. Yeah, and I should maybe not tell you what earthquakes are about. I heard that's when the trolls are actually having fun in their troll beds. Whatever that might be. All right, so the chorus that I had of that troll song, it didn't sound like a troll song about big and tall trolls. It actually sounds like very small and funny trolls. So I, of course, had to keep looking for other troll stories. And I actually found something in a give box in Germany. It's a very old book I found. It looks like this. And I think it's from 1970 something. Oh no, it's actually from 1965. And it is by a Swedish author. So this story is actually about the small kinds of trolls. And what I've been learning so far is, again, the trolls can be very hungry creatures. Some of them are nice to humans, but some of them, they don't really care about humans and they mostly want human soup. Something that I had in mind was that trolls are like all about gathering gold and anything expensive. And this I could actually also find in this book. Nobody ever talks about why they gather so much gold and money, but for some reason they're really into it. So if anybody knows 
let me know in the comments. This story is actually about a beautiful human girl and her very weird and angry father that wants to sell his daughter to basically the troll king because the troll king is looking for a woman that he could marry. And so in the whole country all the troll girls are getting pictures painted of themselves to give it to that troll king or troll man so that he can choose the prettiest. And that weird human father for some reason thought it would be a great idea to get a picture painted of his daughter to give it to the trolls so that he could sell his daughter for money. God, it's so weird. But luckily this does not ever happen because trolls are actually not into human beauty. They think a woman should be very hairy, should have very short legs but long arms. Oh, and they should have big noses. That girl was in luck. She was not accepted as the wife of the troll king guy. But another cute small troll girl actually was. This is something that I found very interesting because this this little troll girl actually was very nice to humans. That little troll girl actually asked for help of a human painter to paint that picture of her. And she even gave presents in return because she didn't have any money. And the end of the story is basically that that troll girl gets chosen by that troll king. And that they are very happy with each other. But one thing I'm still wondering is what is it about trolls and gold? They've even been digging for the gold of the of the father of that human girl. What makes them so fascinated in gold? And why is there this weird split in them that on the one hand wants to be friends with humans and on the other hand just wants to eat them? If anyone could answer that, that would be great. Maybe I'll have a good chance to finish that song soon, so you will be able to hear it. It's a very weird song, but it's kind of fun. And at this point I would like to thank my Patreons for the support. Thank you very much. And see you soon again. <laughs>